And so beta glucans in particular, like our bodies are kind of hardwired to react to fungal beta glucans. And I like to think of it kind of like taking your immune system to the gym because your immune system will react to these fungal beta glucans and it kind of like practices it's like going to the dojo or going to the gym every day. Welcome back to another episode of Mushroom Coffee, the weekly show where me and Tegan connect with the mushroom community, talk about mushrooms, talk about fresh cap, and today, pretty excited because we're gonna be talking about the top four reasons why people use functional mushrooms. Yes. So that is one of my favorite things about functional mushrooms is each one has its own different use case. But we wanted to talk about the reasons why people are actually using mushrooms and actually benefiting from them based on people we've talked to, anecdotes and a bunch of reviews as well. So super excited to get into that topic. And again, this is Mushroom Coffee and we're doing this weekly every Friday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time right here on YouTube. And also, if you want to just listen, it's also on Spotify. So uh, it's our weekly show. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. We're happy to have you here. Um, real quick before we hop into the show, if you want yes. to um, learn probably more than you ever wanted to know about functional mushrooms, I might suggest you download our ebook. This is a physical version of it, but it is called Mushroom Powered, the science, the history, and the benefits of the world's most fantastic fungi. And it's over 130 pages of cram packed with uh, information on functional mushrooms and you can get it right now for free just uh, check out the link in the description if you're on youtube enter your email and we'll send it to you right away it's great highly recommend it there's lots of great recipes in there as well as links to scientific articles and research that's a benefit of the ebook right because you yep. can actually do all of those click links. around yeah yeah so physical copy doesn't work as well <laughs> do you like the book what do you think about the book i love it yeah yeah it's good reference. Good reference? Yep. Sweet. Yeah, we're getting a lot of good feedback on that, so I just thought I'd mention that. One more piece of news, though, before we jump into the uh, full episode. This is super exciting. We are launching a brand new product. It is the first new product in, I think, over a year now. It's true. You, you've been working wow. on this for a year, so why don't you tease the new product a little bit without without revealing too much. I haven't prepped what I'd say about this. Oh, boy. Uh, we're really excited about this new product. It is delicious. So we're going to say that we focus on what it tastes like. So it's not just a, a regular old product, boring old product. Not that these are boring, um, but it, it's something to excite your mouth and let you enjoy mushrooms in a new way. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. And this is something that a lot of people have asked for for, for a very long time. Yeah. And it was hard to get it right because, uh, well, mushrooms are a unique thing to work on. It's tricky and we want to be able to get you a good dose of mushrooms in each serving and so we took a long time to formulate it. Yeah. We didn't want to take the uh, the other road where you just put a non-efficacious dose in there or something and then it gets around the taste profile. So this is really exciting. It's an efficacious dose of mushrooms in a whole new format and I know you're going to love it. I love it. We've been enjoying it for the last little while and we cannot wait. Yeah. It's currently being it. shipped um, to our warehouses. So as soon as that happens, we will launch it to you. We're going to launch on Amazon and give you a really good deal on Amazon. So stay hooked on our email list. Watch for that email to come through and get that pre-sale deal. Get a, a new product, our new product for a really great deal. And that should happen sometime within the next week or two. Yeah, that's a really next good point. Uh, again, we're going to be doing a pre-launch sale to everybody's on the email list. So bonus, if you get the ebook, you'll be on that pre-launch sale and you can get that. Are you going to do it text and email or just email? Just email. Just email. Get yeah. on our email list. Yeah. So, okay. Really excited uh, right. about that. I've been waiting for uh, way too long for that one. Um, let's talk about the top four reasons why people are actually using these mushrooms. Um, and this again is based on number one, what these mushrooms actually do. Mm -hmm. but number two, just anecdotal experiences of people, people that use the mushrooms that benefit from the mushrooms. Why are they actually using them? Yeah. And I would say for sure, the number one reason why people use functional mushrooms is immunity for sure. It's immunity. And of course, individual mushrooms do different things, mm -hmm. but the one thing that unites all functional mushrooms together is their ability to both support and modulate the immune system, which is a really unique aspect of mushrooms, particularly uh, for immunity. Yes. So again, mushrooms can help attenuate the immune system, which means if you have an overacting immune system, it can kind of titrate it down a little bit. But if you have an underperforming immune system, mm -hmm. it can kind of help support it and um, build it up. And that's why mushrooms are known as immunomodulators, right? They uh, modulate the immune system. Based on what your body needs. So what would be the number one mushroom for immunity? I would say turkey tail because yes. it has such a high level of active beta glucans. 
Yeah, turkey tail is by far the most commonly used and the most well-known mushroom for specifically for supporting immune system. But again, all mushrooms have fungal beta-glucans and if they're hot water extracted, they can all support the immune system. Yes, and because the beta-glucans are water soluble, they will come out in a hot water extract. Yeah, exactly. And so beta-glucans in particular, like our bodies are kind of hardwired to react to fungal beta-glucans. And I like to think of it kind of like taking your immune system to the gym because oh, yeah. your immune system will react to these fungal beta-glucans and it kind of like practices like going to the dojo or going to the gym every day for your immune system. And then when something else comes along, you know, it's primed and ready to, to take it down. I mean, obviously that's not actually how it works, but that's a, a good way to think about it. If you want to get a little more details on how beta-glucans actually support and modulate our immune system, we did do a full video on it. I think if you just Google probably your YouTube search fresh cap uh, mushrooms in the immune system, it should come up and it goes really into depth. We'll link it on this video as well. It goes really into depth into exactly how mushrooms do support your immune system. So me personally too, I've experienced this a lot. I used to be a person that got sick like very often, you know, almost yes. like clockwork. I was doing a lot of work out of town. I was spending a lot of time with a lot of other people in camps and stuff like that. And like clockwork every three months, every quarter, maybe every four months, I would get sick. No matter what was going around, I would get it. Um, until I started taking uh, functional mushrooms. And quite honestly, I have not been sick since, um, which is pretty amazing. So I know there are a lot of people that are um, having similar stories. We hear from people all the time, um, like a lot of teachers, for example, say going back to the school year, using medicinal mushrooms to kind of help support their immune system. Exactly. Uh, a lot of like, we heard from a river guide, for example, one year, somebody who takes people on the rivers all the time. So he's always meeting new people and interacting with new people and used to get sick all the time, but uses mushrooms to kind of help support his immune system. And if you're out on the river guiding people, you don't want to be sick or under the weather. So yeah, that would be a good case. And sometimes people ask, you know, when will I feel the effects of mushrooms? And I'm not really feeling much, but part of that is what you don't feel. So when you've gone for a year or two years without getting sick and you look back and go, oh, like I've been taking mushrooms this time and I haven't gotten sick. And that's a cool realization. Like, oh, they were doing something, even if at some level I couldn't feel anything. Right, sometimes it's not what they do, but it's what uh, doesn't happen, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of a weird thing, but that's definitely, again, something that I experienced. And um, again, it's, it's typically turkey tail is one that's most commonly used for immunity. Chaga is used for immunity as well. Reishi is very commonly used for immunity. But even a, a mushroom like lion's mane, which is more used for cognitive health, which we'll talk about next, um, that's something that really supports immunity as well. I just pulled this one review that I saw. Oh. Um, someone saying, I started taking lion's mane capsules because uh, I made the foolish decision to start med school in my 30s. So I guess they were looking for more focus and stuff like that. I don't think that's a foolish decision. No, that's uh, great. I think that's a great decision. Very ambitious. Um, I had symptoms of stress and anxiety. I was getting sick easily and I was having difficulty focusing and retaining information. Within a week of taking these capsules, I felt more clarity at school, it greatly reduced my anxiety levels, and I was also feeling the immune boosting and anti-inflammatory effects. Um, and in this review, the person also mentions that they have nerve damage and they're hoping that um, the lion's mane will also help with that because some of the interesting research specifically around lion's mane is for that, but we'll talk about that later. So again, reason one why people use functional mushrooms is Immune immunity. System. Yeah. Okay. Reason two. Reason two. What's reason two, TV? Well, we're not quite at brain health yet, but would be energy. Energy, endurance, feeling better. Right. Super common reason for using mushrooms is just having more energy. And of course, the number one reason for this would be cordyceps, or the number one mushroom for this would be cordyceps mushroom kind of thought of as the athlete's mushroom. Um, but interestingly enough, it's actually people who are not elite athletes that get- The most benefits. Right. Yeah. So um, yeah, people hopping off the couch or whatever, get actually more benefit from cordyceps mushroom. It's one of these things that can act over time. So people generally feel more energetic over time, um, but it can also act acutely and people can get more energetic um, right away. Yes, and it is an adaptogen. It helps your body utilize oxygen more and an all around great mushroom, also great for the immune system. Yeah, and we know one runner in particular that uses cordyceps mushroom and swears by it. And he runs like 100 mile marathons, uh, which is absolutely crazy, but uses all sorts of things, but cordyceps mushroom in particular for help supporting that energy. But we've had, you know, kind of endless people reach out to us and say the energy boosting effects of not just cordyceps, but all mushrooms. And it kind of makes sense, right? Because if you're, 
I guess these all these things work together. If right. you're supporting your immune system better, you're going to be feeling better. You're probably going to be getting better sleep, all that kind of stuff. And in turn, you'll probably have better energy. Exactly. If you're just taking cordyceps, maybe you're using your oxygen more efficiently. And maybe that's where you notice it um, in the endurance uh, athletic side of things a little bit more. Um, but yeah, reason number two is energy. And I did pull a couple other reviews as well that I'll just... Yeah, while screen. you're getting to that review, I'll just say... Uh, some of the pre-workouts you see do have cordyceps added to them. So you are seeing it added to a lot more things lately for those energy benefits. Yeah, cordyceps is starting to show up in a lot of things, right? Mm. So yeah, pre-workouts, protein powders, yeah. coffees and teas. Some people just eat cordyceps. Yeah. Which is pretty good. So uh, should I read this review? Sure. All right. So here are some reviews. As an extremely active 47 year old, I gave cordyceps a try. I really believe it allows me to have physical energy to tackle the everyday things I experience in my lawn business. From cu cutting grass to trimming trees, it allows me to have physical energy to work a 10 hour day. That's amazing. That is some um, hard, hard work. I can only imagine. Yeah, um, which is cool to hear that cordyceps is helping, especially uh, extremely active 47 year old. So uh, staying super active. Uh, yeah. Getting older, which and is cool. then here's someone else who's using it for their job too. So working as a wildfire fighter, uh, we are tasked to work extended hours for weeks on end. Looking for an extra gear and having success with other medicinal mushrooms, I decided to give cordyceps a try. I have certainly noticed an increase in my energy and endurance despite the lack of sleep on a nightly basis due to long hours of operation. I would highly recommend it to those looking for extra gear. Yeah, that's really cool. And actually, I have a friend who's a firefighter and uh, firefighters work uh, weird hours, right? Yeah. Night shifts, day shifts, night shifts, day shifts. And he started taking cordyceps and really benefits from it and helps. Uh, he uses it with the other people. He gives it to the other people at the fire hall as well. And there's actually some interesting research around cordyceps and helping with uh, shifting time schedules, specifically right. with jet lag. So there's a bunch of research that's been done on the models of jet lag and shift work for mice and showing that it can shorten the amount of time that it takes to adjust from jet lag or from shift work. And even from something as simple as a time change. I know someone in New York uh, that we had been working with and she said, this is the first year ever that she hasn't been affected by daylight savings time. And she thinks it was because she started taking cordyceps previously, which kind of makes sense mm -hmm. uh, that cordyceps can do that. So That's really, really cool. cool. So number one reason is immunity. Number two reason is energy. energy. For sure. Okay, number so, three reason. Reason number three, and this is probably one of the most popular ones and the most well known, specifically because yes. of the most popular mushroom, which is lion's mane. The number three reason why people use functional mushrooms is uh, brain health, cognition, focus. All those things are kind of tied together, right? Mood, I guess you could put under that same umbrella. Um, so, yeah, brain health, focus, mood, and everything to do with your brain. And of course, the number one mushroom that is utilized for that is lion's mane because it has some really amazing compounds like hercinones and arnaceans that can actually cross the blood brain barrier and help to improve the um, creation of something called NGF or nerve growth factor, which supports neurons, but also can help to regrow neurons, which is really cool. There's no other duo other than hercinones and arnaceans that can actually do this. Um, which is why lion's mane is such a famous, such a popular mushroom. But it's not the only mushroom that is uh, known to be good for brain health. Reishi is another one that quite often gets the accolades of, of brain health. And again, human physiology is complicated. Mushrooms are complicated. So what is actually happening? Again, it depends. It could be a confluence of different things, right? So if, again, if you're using mushrooms and your immune system is better and you're getting better sleep, well, maybe you'll feel better mentally. And that's where a lot of the brain health benefits might come from as well. But without a doubt, lots of people report feeling mentally better after taking lion's mane, taking reishi. Yeah, mood, focus, everything. All in, the, all in those aspects. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and, and reishi in particular, we'll talk about that on reason number four, but there might be another reason why reishi might be also good for, for brain health. Right. Um, but one story I really wanted to share, and this is an amazing story. This was um, about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. Somebody phoned our customer support and I picked it up and uh, they were crying and they were explaining their experience with lion's mane mushroom. And again, this is a totally anecdotal experience, but I really thought it'd be cool to share. Um, this woman 
she had some, she was blind and she was blinded from an x-ray procedure that had gone wrong many years ago, I think like 20 or 30 years ago. And I don't remember the exact specifics, but basically they didn't properly protect her eyes during this procedure and she ended up blinded from it. And again, she phoned me crying one day and she was saying she had started taking lion's mane mushroom and all of a sudden was, not all of a sudden, but after a little while was able to start seeing shapes and colors again, mm -hmm. which is, you know, absolutely unbelievable. And it, again, it kind of makes sense based on what we know about lion's mane mushroom and the potential for a nerve regeneration, all that kind of stuff. Um, who knows, it could have been something else other than the lion's mane, right? But it was just, it was just amazing to hear this, the story of this person. And uh, I never did follow up, but it would be amazing to see if it, you know, continued to, to, to help in that regard. But uh, what a story. Very phenomenal story. Yeah. Yeah. And again, you know, if, if we're hearing these things, I'm assuming like a lot of these different things are happening all over the place, right? Where people are having amazingly beneficial experiences from lines being particular, um, you know, from brain health, et cetera. Uh, so it's just really cool to see this mushroom. Another one. Oh, yeah. Another review here. I started using lion's mane powder about a month ago, along with turkey tail powder. Um, so far, I've noticed a distinct increase in energy and have been having a lot less brain fog. So brain fog is one of these things that's really hard to describe, right? It's kind of like, what is brain fog, right? And it's, it's very common. You hear it a lot. Yeah. You hear it a lot nowadays. Y you sure do. Um, but a lot of people are taking lion's mane for that. So this person says, I've also noticed a lessening of carpal tunnel tingling and numbness and significantly, significantly less nerve discomfort uh, that I've been experiencing with my shoulder. I honestly didn't give high hopes for much improvement, but have really been impressed with the positive effects that have occurred. So again, showing lion's mane, the nerve helping mushroom, the cognition mushroom, very cool mushroom. It's also pretty tasty too. It is pretty tasty. Yeah, if you get a chance to buy some fresh, cook it up at home, highly recommend it. One of the ones that is also gourmet medicinal mushroom, gourmet and medicinal. So. It's got two jobs, hard work and mushroom. <laughs> Hard work mushroom. I guess uh, so. It's easy to grow as well. That's another thing I love so much about it. It's probably my favorite lion's mane. It looks cool. It's easy to grow. tastes good. And it has all these amazing benefits. And if what anyone comes over from? and sees a lion's mane on your counter, it's a conversation starter. Because what is that? Right. What is that thing? What is that weird looking <laughs> what thing? What is that? Uh, so what would be reason number four? Why don't you talk about reason number okay. four? Okay. Reason number four would be sleep and relaxation. And the one we would highlight for that would be reishi. So reishi is an adaptogen, helps your body re react and respond to stress, um, and also very good for sleep cycles. Right, and properly extracted uh, reishi actually does have some hypnotic effect, right? That's um, the thing that's responsible for that is the triterpenoids inside of reishi, and that comes from the alcohol extract or the alcohol extractions of a reishi in particular. Um, but reishi is not the only mushroom that helps with sleep. Um, we did do a whole video on this, so you can go check that out if you want. I think it's just called like How Mushrooms Help You Sleep. Maybe we'll link it in this video today. But lion's mane, reishi, and cordyceps are all known to be helpful for sleep. Uh, reishi, again, is the most common and most well-known one. But uh, cordyceps as well, as I mentioned with the, with the sleep cycles. And lion's mane, maybe because of those, you know, mood benefits and all that kind of stuff, uh, can be very helpful for sleep. But all three of these mushrooms have had research done specifically um, for sleep. And we all know that the ultimate nootropic, the ultimate brain booster, the ultimate, the ultimate everything booster is not a mushroom, right? It's sleep. And the more sleep you can get, the better you're going to feel for sure. And if mushrooms can help you do that, well, that's kind of a win-win. Yeah. Cause if you've ever had a, a bad night's sleep, which I'm sure you have, you're not feeling great the next day. So. Yeah. So another thing that people might find a little bit confusing uh, for cordyceps, for example, is how can one mushroom be good for both energy and for both and for sleep? Are those two things kind of contradictory? Right. But they're not really. I mean, again, for the most part, cordyceps doesn't have an acute energy benefit. It's so. not like not like caffeine. Where right. You'll feel that huge energy uptake. So. Right. I actually kind of do, but some people don't. Yeah. I mean, you can I take don't. it at night. You I can take, take it, right it at before night. You go to bed, totally no problem. fine. And a lot of people can as well. Um, but it actually does make sense because, for example, you know, if you're getting better sleep, you're going to have more energy. So that makes sense. That does. And again, for cordyceps, the way it works, the way it encourages better sleep is by helping us align our circadian rhythms or our sleep cycles better. So that has, you know, no effect on, um, it's not like that's 
opposed to having more energy. I think, in fact, it, it supports it. So, um, yeah, and mushrooms are one of these things that kind of act slower over longer periods of time, like a lot of natural supplements, not necessarily as acutely. So that's how they can be beneficial for both um, things that might seem to be on the outset a little bit opposed. For sure. So. Uh, do we have some reviews for sleep and relaxation? Yes. We do. All right, should I read them? Sure. All right. Uh, so here's one review that we have. I've suffered from insomnia for the better part of the last 20 years. That is a long time to go with bad sleep. So I don't have much sleep at night and I walk around like a zombie for most of the day, dazed and in a fog. I've tried quite a few things in my life to help clear that up in order to meet the demands of the day and be productive, but nothing has ever come close to what is like to what this little magical elixir, this would be our unwind elixir, uh, can do. In a matter of minutes, I have such clarity and focus and almost feel unstoppable in what I can achieve throughout the day. Very cool. So that again was from the Reishi Elixir, which also has other sleep supporting things like magnesium and L-theanine and it, there's it chamomile. chamomile in there. Yeah. Um, so a nice relaxing blend. Exactly. Relaxing botanicals. I find specifically with the unwind too, it's kind of like a ritual. You take it at night and it's just kind of like nice. Sets you, nice. Up, sets you up for good sleep. Yeah, it does. Uh, so here's another review also. So heck yes, I can finally sleep. My mind is not racing. I don't wake up a zillion times and I'm having awesome dreams. Before I tried Rishi, I've had a hard time falling asleep and staying asleep. This is the best for chilling. I love Rishi. So a lot of support for Rishi there. And actually I've heard from a lot of people that uh, dreams uh, are improved with Rishi, which is kind of cool. I don't know, again, obviously if there's any been any kind of research behind that, but I have heard a lot of people say that specifically in like the lucid dreaming community, uh, which is really cool. Yeah, that is neat. So who knows? Uh, one other review here. Uh, we've noticed a significant difference in our sleep since adding a reishi to a regimen, of vitamins and supplements. Previously would, previously would wake after only about four hours of sleep and then struggle, struggle to return to sleep. Since adding reishi capsules taken shortly after dinner, our sleep has improved and wakeful nights have been reduced dramatically. I tend to sleep more soundly, return to sleep after getting up, waking in the night. I've managed to sleep in a bit longer than my usual time. Actually sleeping in for an early riser. I appreciate this new addition to my supplement ritual. So a lot of people getting better sleep from reishi in particular, but all mushrooms in general. And uh, yeah, I totally agree with that. I actually use reishi at night as well. I think it's uh, one of my favorite mushrooms for that particular use case. So really quick, uh, mushrooms for immunity, for energy, for cognitive okay. health, and for sleep. Those are by far the top four reasons why people are using mushrooms. But is there anything else? Is there anything else that sticks out to you in terms of why people are actually using mushrooms? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of different reasons. Right. Um, I don't know, you put me on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I would say in general, uh, what's really cool about mushrooms, again, is each one has its own superpower. Right. So people are using mushrooms for all different reasons and we're learning new reasons why people are using mushrooms all the time because they might be recommended something by maybe their natural healthcare practitioner or even more commonly now their doctor. And it's something that we've never heard of people using mushrooms for before. So there's lots of different, you know, people coming at this from all different angles and finding benefit for, for all different reasons. Mm -hmm. I know um, in customer support, you see different groups reaching out. So groups focused on, on this disease or this ailment and they come and these groups are using different types of mushrooms. So that's pretty interesting to see too. Yeah. Um, People rallying together, sharing ideas and sharing what's working with them, for them, to other people in the same boats. Yeah. That's really cool. And if you know, if you feel like sharing, if there's a reason why you're using mushrooms, if it just makes you feel better or gives you more energy, or uh, you know, a lot of people say it helps them feel more balanced, which is a really kind of a harder thing to describe exactly right. what that means. But a lot of people say that as well. Uh, feel free to let us know in the comments if you if you use functional mushrooms. That'd be really cool to know why. And if you don't feel like sharing, that's totally cool as well. Um, but you know. I take mushrooms personally. The, re the main reason I take mushrooms is two things. Number one, for brain health. I really like lion's mane. But number two, for immunity. Again, as I mentioned yes. earlier in the first section of this video, I used to be that person who just gets sick all the time and had a really uh, improperly balanced immune system likely. And mushrooms really helped dial that back in. And I feel kind of bulletproof, not gonna lie. <laughs> so. 
And I use mushrooms mainly for immunity and for energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of cycle back between brain health, kind of brain boosting and, and uh, energy. But I typically go for the energy one, energy benefits. Awesome. So. so that's it. Of course, there's a lot more reasons why people use mushrooms, but those are the top four. Again, uh, real quick news. If you want to download our ebook, if you haven't already, check it out. It's in the uh, link in the description. 130 pages packed with mushroom information. And if you're on that list, you're going to be the first to know about our brand new product, which is launching, depending on when you're watching this video, probably sometime in the next couple weeks. Yep. And we're super excited about it. So make sure you get on that list and you can get the early bird special. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Mushroom Coffee and hope you join us next time as well. See you.